Hello, welcome back to Owen's Games. Uh, so, hopefully this won't feel too much like a retread of the last episode, but uh, yeah, um, here we are again, the statue park, trying to save Natalia and unmask Yanis. So there's about four guards come up here. Three, four. And once they're gone, we're going to try and avoid the others and just make a high tail for Van Teen's red light district, red box. Is over here. I always find the sound effect in Goldeneye when you get hit uh, be quite distressing. <laughs> the sort of the inhale of breath, the <coughs> the bond makes when he gets shot is, uh, yeah. It doesn't sound uh, it doesn't sound pleasant. It sounds as if he's gasping for air or suffocating, which is uh, not what you want to what what you want to hear when uh, you get shot. Okay, Van Teen though, easy. He's an easy guy. Um, he's just breathing through life. God, where are these guys? They weren't here the last time. Just run along the fence. Am I going slower or something? Or did I change the difficulty level? Because uh, I was able to get away without meeting any guards the last time. Okay. Maybe you can actually just pull your gun on them as soon as it says objective B completed. I mean, that's the main thing you want to hear, that you've done what you need to do. And I don't feel like the conversa I've let the conversation go on this long in the past. It's stuff you forget. Um... Uh, I guess that counted. It seemed to do. I don't think he finished his speech as such, but... Who gave all these guys automatic shotgun shotguns, in fairness? I think that's a bit... Overkill. Okay, so here's that tank. Here's these... Eyes. There we go. Are we able to get through here? No. Whoops. Whew. Am I missing something that this is suddenly? <laughs> Outrageously difficult. Um, yeah. I don't see what the story is. It shouldn't be uh, so. Fifth guard, no less. Is 
Secret agent is no joke. Actually, when I was younger, I was trying to pay to a secret agent and I got to the jungle and I could go no further. Um, I just couldn't do it. Now I'm much more confident that I'll be able to do it this time because um, I've completed a few games, a few James Bond games on Double Agent recently, such as The World Is Not Enough and Nightfire. They're not as difficult, they're, they're a bit more, you're guided a lot more in those games than you are in Goldeneye. Uh, you know, you have sort of like take something like Nightfire where the mission is split up into smaller bites, that's a lot easier to manage. Whereas in Goldeneye, for dead, you're back to the square one, you're back to the start of the level. There's also a lot more body armor and things in Worlds on Enough and Nightfire, I think. Um, I don't feel like there's much in Goldeneye. Even though I could use it. There probably is body armor here somewhere. I might look that up actually. As opposed to looking through all of these different statues and around them and in, in bins and things looking for body armor. So I feel like I'm a good, good vantage point here. These guys are kind of closer, so maybe I should start with them. Yeah, like this guy is very close. He's very close too. I feel like I used the statue to fairly good effect there to cover. The people shooting at me. I can't believe some of these guys are taking five um or uh, two shotgun shells to the chest like and they're still still not dead you know that's a bit no hopefully the fact that they've killed a few of these guys here will lessen the shootout at the end definitely the way isn't it yeah this CCP or CP thing and then oh no I'm really gonna have to perfect the roof back here because uh, it's cost me time and health I just need to get down the hill, get the flight recorder, and head back up the hill. Come on, I tell you. Out of the way. box ah <sighs> yes good Italia flying flight report shouldn't be that difficult
So yeah, um, as I said in the last episode, we moved into a new house now, which is great. And you know, when we're very, we don't lose sight of the fact that we're very in a very privileged position to be buying a house in. Hate to sound like an economist or uh, something, but uh, or a broadcaster, but in this market, so uh, yeah, we're very lucky. And uh, no, it was hard work. Obviously, we have years of saving and uh, kind of curtailing our spending a little bit and having to you know, go through an enormous amount of paperwork and emails and phone calls and meetings and so on. So yeah. We're very privileged, but we did work hard for it as well. So I guess it's just to to be aware of those two things that you need a little bit of luck as well. Uh, it's hard work, luck, diligence, patience. There's a lot of things involved. But anyway, the the point is returning to gaming, which is you know the priority one. Um, I've kind of adopted a new approach when in this house in terms of my gaming routine i have a lot of games like in the last when i've had more income disposable income in the last five to seven years i would say uh then i, I bought a lot of games i bought a lot more than i had ever received or ever bought in the years before that so i have hundreds now at this point and a lot of them I haven't finished or I barely touched simply because I didn't have the time or uh, you know uh, I guess something else comes along and you 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 everyone who, who plays games nowadays with the amount that comes out and the amount of disposable income that people have you know everyone has a huge backlog of games especially if you have something like you know Xbox the game pass uh, thing then you know you're, you're you know, you could your game, your backlog could go on forever, basically. Whatever you decide to download. Um, but uh, yeah, so what I've decided to do excuse me one second. In order to make get through that backlog, I've uh, and also in, in because of room, you know, I I have just so many games that in order to bring them here, uh, set them up and everything, and have all the consoles and going and stuff like that is would be um, it's just it's just a lot to accommodate, you know, a lot to fit into one house when you're living with someone else. So uh, what I decided to do is just bring a few games from my backlog at a time. Um, so they're they're all my my parents' house. But... Oh my god! Not this way. There. Uh, sorry, I keep getting interrupted by these guys with shotguns. Um, but yeah, no, they're all. Uh, I guess the thing is that I'm I'm bringing a few games at a time from my backlog and working through those. So at the moment, I have um, Link's Awakening. I have Katamari Damashi, which I thought I'd like, but I don't actually like that much. So that might be going back to the shop or to CEX or something. Um, I have Burnout Paradise, which I really like it's as a kind of a, a summer's day game. And uh, I also have Legends Ar Arceus, which I like and haven't finished. And I have, yeah, both five games, uh, five or six. And what I'm trying to do is just play through them and savor them. And then I'll, I'll get more games in my backlog. So I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll go to my parents' house and, and bring more from there. And, uh, well, eventually I will bring them all here, you know, in time. I think that's a nice way of savoring what I have. And uh, just, you know, taking them piecemeal, bit by bit. 
Just take, just picking a few and being like, I'm going to really, I'm going to play these properly now. And, uh, and, and, and play them to the, the, the end. Oh, perfect, perfect. Come on, Bond. Come on. Run. Um, oh, Richkin. Oops. I don't think they're... Don't shoot me. I like Michigan. Is this all correct? Should I just go to the gate? Is correct? Yeah. Okay, so that was the statue park. Uh, completed, secret agent. 315. <laughs> Maybe if you just ran everywhere, you could do that. But on this particular playthrough, not going to happen. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're doing well, though. We're on to the archives now. Another very iconic level, one that... Uh, People really like and can be done quickly if you know what you're doing. So we'll tackle that in our next um, next episode. And yeah, so basically just on the games thing, yeah, I'm just picking a few games, playing them to completion. If they're, it's also a way of kind of uh, weeding the weeding out the chaff, I suppose. Because if there's any that I, I'm not too sure about or that I don't really want to keep, then maybe I can do something with them, give them to someone else or donate them or something. Um, because you know, with 300 plus games and some of them I have barely touched, uh, I need to kind of reevaluate them. And the only way to do that is to do them uh, bit by bit. Obviously, most of the games are going nowhere, you know, but uh, just so I can savor them. And uh, yeah, I hope you savor this episode. I hope you, uh, I know it's been a while since my last one, but uh, hopefully. Uh, you'll start to see more regular uploads now from me uh, because I have I have more space and time to do it. Uh, well, space anyway. <laughs> Not sure about time. Okay, see you next time on Owens Games.